Okay guys, um, today I'm gonna do a video, um, it's not really tutorial, I'm just gonna record uh, my new project in a VS chassis uh, modification. Um, it's gonna be like about like 95% I'm gonna using a carbon fiber um, plate. And uh, this project um, I'm gonna focus on the um, faster takeoff, reacceleration, and also stability. So here's all the parts um, what I'm gonna using for this VS um, chassis setup. So I'm gonna using this uh, limb edition, um, the VS chassis which is right here, and for all the carbon fiber plate which is right here. So this is gonna be my front bumper which is right here, and for the back bumper which is I'm gonna using this piece. And this two package, which is the item number 94A45, the 1.5 millimeter carbon fiber um, popsicle, that's gonna be my, my body damper system. And they're gonna have two of this, one of them gonna be my uh, front underplay, and one of them gonna be my uh, body damper system supporter. Right here, this piece right here. This piece gonna be my uh, rear supporter. Um, plus the uh, um, brake system okay and this right here I'm gonna using that as a brake okay and next um, we're gonna using some like uh, you know the 620 ball bearing and the damper I'm gonna using for my setting it is gonna be this one right here the AR damper which is right here okay the roller I'm gonna using the three spoke and the lightweight roller with plastic ring and the front roller I'm gonna using this one right here the high grade lightweight aluminum roller both of them are 19 millimeter okay uh, next this is gonna be my um, damper the spring okay and also reinforced shaft and a carbon fiber uh, crown gear and some like a pinny gear which right here okay and i also gonna need this one right here the carbon fiber reinforced rear double roller stay and for this one i only gonna using the uh the reinforced uh two plastic which right here okay and this is gonna be my front stabilizer okay the brake which right here okay and also the I'm gonna using this upgrade my transmission system the 1.4 hollow propeller shaft okay and this one right here the two millimeter hollow propeller shaft I'm not gonna using this side trans my transmission this is gonna be my uh, damper holder okay and also I'm gonna using this one item number 943A1 this is the some people, some people know this is some kind of bearing bushing but uh, most people they're using that as a spring cap okay uh, here's everything and also I already made my wheel which is right here this is the wheel I made and as you can see um, it is a hybrid wheel the it is the uh, rubber let me give a better angle this is a hybrid wheel it has had the rubber um, tire plus the uh, sponge tire which is right here also this is the six spot carbon fiber wheel and this is the one for the front so you can tell this I uh, only make a little bit like rubber right here so this is the contact so re for reducer contact so I using this type of design and this is for my back wheel for my back wheel as you can see it's still hybrid and the outside of using the uh, rubber so improve the, um, the pushing the grab okay like this Actually, this type of wheel was modified from um, um, the solid dish wheel. So basically, what I do, I using a special lace to trim off the outside of the lid. To uh, basically, it's not trim off, I remove it. Okay, but I slowly, slowly using special um, uh, the cutting tool to slowly, slowly peel that off. So after peel off, it's gonna be looks like this. Okay. I also trim off this front um, the surface because the problem with this type of wheel 
Um, let me give you a better angle. You can see it. The problem with this kind of wheel, it is like this. Outside, you can see is 24, about 24.82 um, millimeter, but inside was like about 25.1 okay millimeter, which means this type of wheel is not really, really, very accurate. I mean, it's not really possessed. So all you have to do it is you, you better if you want to make the wheel better performance best way it is put on professional lace you're not just only going to trim this um, the lid off to reduce the weight you also want to um, also going to trim the surface to make it like 100% like uh, you know the uh, level and the flat so after trim you can tell the my inside was 24 point 39 outside almost same thing okay so it's makes the wheel it's really level okay otherwise this wheel gonna be really offset like this okay so for better performance it's really better to trim the wheel but it's I mean I know it's really hard for the most of people uh, especially they have they don't have professional tool to trim it so the best um, the best way it is just using five spot which is um, which is something like this okay okay so this type of wheel you don't have to do nothing okay all you have to do is just trim to be a low profile so anyway um, this four wheel take me about eight hours to trim off okay especially um, to caliber all the size and especially Take me about four hours to trim the lids off also to smooth the surface right here and another four hours i was like a try to like you know um to set up the tire on it and also to try to make it really like you know the uh, um sling and it makes it really accurate and it's really taking me a lot of time to find adjust those type of wheel because um some people may be taking one hour to trim the tire but for me it takes longer because i want to make sure every size have to be exactly same okay so right now it's taking me eight hours already finished the tire so those tires really 100 percent accurate is 100 percent level so it's for just for better performance i have to do that okay anyway so i just gonna go ahead and start into my project okay before we get started let's take a look at the vs chassis first so Here's the VS chassis. Um, VS chassis is very old chassis. Um, they released at uh, 1999. So um, all their uh, designs are pretty old, but it's still very uh, one of the faster chassis on the on the mini four wheel drive. Okay. Um, the problem with VS chassis, it is uh, the front right here is too weak. So you can see it's really fragile. And also this two point right here for the rear bumper mount right here this two is fragile too so um, when we starting to modify VS chassis that's the two part we have to um, be really uh, careful um, also that's the two part we're gonna focus on the reinforcement okay okay first I can just gonna remove the front bumper okay which is right here and I'm going to replace that with a carbon fiber plate, which right here. So I'm going to using this piece right here. I'm going to using this one sample um, to uh, modify a little bit right here. So I can mount this piece on the bottom to reinforce the front head. Okay. So let me just go ahead and start it. First, I'm going to cut a chassis first. So I'm going to using this, the mass tape to cover right here okay so I'm gonna use a Dremel to cut that off okay okay now I'm just gonna use my Dremel to remove the front bumper Okay. Okay, it's gonna be like this. So next, just gonna remove all the scrap using hand, and uh, if you have some razor blade, 
it's using that to scratch that off okay okay and there's some extra scrap right here just using your Dremel to fix again okay next we're gonna using number 1000 sandpaper which is this one right here this is number 1000 sandpaper you're gonna, gonna place that sandpaper on the flat surface right here on the table and I'm gonna use in this one to sand off make this part smooth mm -hmm. and fix all the scrap okay just like this okay you can see after sand it it's gonna be it looks so perfect okay so make sure this line is really level so if it's not level just keep like a uh, sand it and choose level okay Okay, next we're gonna do a small adjustment and uh, I'm gonna set the um, the bumper right here this one the carbon fiber plate on top of the underguard right here okay so I'm gonna put on it and mount right here to take a look at it looks like it's still too long so I have to have to cut up more so that's how you um, adjust like how much you want to keep so basically you put the bumper on the top of the plate and the mount right here and take a look at it if it's like um, the bottom part right here this piece right here if uh, it should be rich about right here if the rich over there is about stop right here which means it's still too short you have to cut a little bit more to in order to this piece can reach here okay so let me just go ahead and cut them more. So I really recommend you guys do not cut too much. First cut a little bit, like keep a little bit more. So in this case, when you um, using this piece right here as a uh, um, as a um, um, you know uh, sample right here, so you can put this piece right here. And then you can tell how many more you can cut and uh, in this case you can just keep cutting instead of like you cutting all the way then there's no way you can fix it okay so make sure do not over cutting too much because over cutting which means you destroy the chassis you have to starting another new uh, brand new chassis okay so let me go ahead cut another small piece of mass tape so gonna remove a little bit more about right here okay okay just make sure it's at the line right here it's really straight okay so let me go ahead cut down again Okay, let's take a look at it. So, gonna stop right here. I'm gonna measure it out again. Let's see if it's, uh, it's there. Yeah, it's about there. But uh, need to maybe cut a little bit more. Okay, let me just go ahead. Tape again. So you have to keep doing that because uh, first time um, you're not sure. So after you have a you uh, modify a couple times the VS, you will know um, how many you want to um, how many did, um, how many pieces you have to cut off. So it's really uh, depends on experience. Okay, so let me just go ahead and cut more. So. Okay, so it's about right here. Okay.
So okay, let me go ahead and do the same procedure. Put on the one number one thousand sandpaper, and it's starting to fix all the scrap. Okay. Also, remove all the uh, the big pieces right here. All this. Okay. Just finish right here. As you can see, it's really. After you sand it and the 1000, it's gonna be really uh, smooth. Okay, so next, you're gonna put this one right here to measure the which part you have to um, cut off. Okay, so basically, you see VS has the little V shape right here. Okay, so you're gonna cut a Piece from here to make this part right here to fit to right here okay so basically it's pretty simple it is just like um, put it right here make sure everything lines up and the next using a pen or pencil okay to draw the line so it's about right here Okay, same thing to the other side. It's about right here. Okay. Like this. So next, I'm gonna using a Dremel to remove part of it. Let's see. Okay. Looks like we have to remove a little bit more. But again, every single time you remove some pieces, make sure just remove a little bit first. So a little bit little try to fix it. So in this case, so I'm gonna using files to slowly, 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 okay, to files up make sure eventually makes fit to right here okay okay after um, using files to adjust the shape right here right now this piece right is perfectly to fit to the VS chassis like this okay so next I'm gonna using this piece which is FRP already modified as a sample um, this is really tricky part and the reason I'm using this FRP now because I need uh, something using as sample so I can cut first and then I can transfer this shape to the carbon fiber like this okay so what are we gonna do next I'm going to using this carbon fiber I'm gonna put the both of them together okay in this case you can see I already have the cutting angle which is already I can chase on it okay so I just gonna using two screw um, both and if you want to put more it's okay just go ahead and put on it I'm gonna using a marker to chase the shape which is right here okay Okay, I'm uh, using two screw lock here, lock here, and lock here, and lock here. So right now I can using a marker to chasing the shape, which is right here. 
like this and I'm gonna okay so right now these are the white spot gonna cut off the reason you want to do that because um, carbon fiber is really hard to cut because it's stronger so FRP is easier so and plus carbon fiber is limited edition plus it's more expensive that's why you want to using the cheap FRP to um, make a sample first in order to after you cutting the carbon fiber it can be really perfect okay so that's what I do I make a carbon fiber sample and after cut it and I adapt to the um, to the uh, carbon fiber okay so same procedure so next is same procedure just using the Dremel just go ahead and cut it okay so let me just go ahead and cut it and I'm gonna go ahead and move to the next step okay um, after um, I cut it and I use the files to adjust a little bit so right now my carbon fiber is perfect fit to my VS chassis like this okay so also I have uh, some like I make this measurement box right here so I can easily sit on my chassis into it I can see if everything's level everything lines up right now I put it into it I can tell my everything is lines up everything is level so let me give you a better angle you can see it so after I put it into the box as you can see um, from this point and at this point it's level on the line and the same as the chassis so if everything is already lines up means the sitting on the front it's really um, perfect okay there's nothing uh, like offset there's nothing like a crooked okay just make sure that okay so next I'm gonna using a uh, small pieces of this so this piece it is from the um, one end of this two millimeter carbon fiber which is right here so this is a gold but it doesn't matter they have blue and red so gonna I have small pieces which is I from last my last project that was left over so I'm gonna using this little two pieces right here so what I gonna do it is I gonna cut a small piece okay make it fit right here okay Okay, now I'm going to set this piece right here and using marker okay to mark the cutting point okay so I'm gonna cut like this so this is my cutting point right here so this piece are gonna be removed okay okay don't worry about the front right here so we're gonna fix that later after I cut off okay so next gonna be putting two pieces together because remember we need the two pieces one gonna be here the one gonna be here the other one gonna be here that's why we need the two pieces so it's better if you can just put the two pieces together the school and cutting that together so in this case both pieces gonna come exactly same okay so let me go ahead put that two pieces together and I can cut it okay so I'm gonna be using my vise to cramp on it and then I'm gonna be using a dremel to follow the line to cut it okay here's two pieces right here okay so next gonna be put on it take a look at it if it fits um, obviously it's not fit so I'm just gonna go ahead and still gonna using a files and I slowly slowly file up and make until it fits okay so as you can see I looks like I have to file a little bit right here and also the front I have to file a little bit of front too so let me go ahead just using my files to finish and I'm gonna move to the next step okay, um, that's uh, what I do I fix all the shape makes makes fits to right here so after you finish just put it right here 
and put some uh, glue and uh, make it stay right here so all this part have been reinforced already so next put this piece right here okay and and I'm gonna turn around okay so as you can see everything being reinforced next we're gonna using a Dremel or either drill to drill a little hole right here from here and then have to go all the way to the back okay and then we can insert a screw from the back to the front and lock it okay so let me go ahead using a Dremel and using two millimeter um, drill to drill to drill a hole right here okay okay um, just make a little hole right here let me give you a better angle so the hole is connected to the back which is right here so next we're gonna put a one uh, centimeter screw into it so you can see this end is pops up and using a M2 lock nut which is right here okay. to lock it so it's gonna be looks like this okay so you can tell it's really strong okay at least it's stronger than before so this is how you reinforce the front bumper okay so we fix the first issue we have it is the front um, um, the head is kind of too weak so right now we reinforce this makes it really strong okay so it's really hard to bend it okay okay this step we're gonna fix the front um, the undergar which right here so when you turn back you can see this piece right here it's blocked the the roller stay which is right here so in this case you, you have no way to install a screw from the back to the top to install the roller so we have to cut some off and in this case i'm going to um, cut this piece off i'm going to using a marker to mark my cutting angle which is right here And the same thing to the other side. I'm gonna mark. Okay. Make sure do not cut like this and like this. Okay, like this line and this line because you want to keep a little bit right here and a little bit here because you can using this piece right here to um, as under guard, just preventing the school head which right here to get a cut on the truck. So that's why I don't want to cut too much. I want to keep as much as possible. Okay. Also later I'm gonna mount a small piece brake on this side. That's why my design I have to keep um, the front, the side, the left and the right wing, which is right here. Okay. So let me go ahead and remove the top of the roller stay. In this case I can cut it. Okay. Okay. For cutting the piece off, I'm gonna using Dremel plus the cutter. And gently follow the line and just cut it. Okay, like this, come off. Okay, so after cut it, we're gonna put back this piece. So as you can see right now i have enough um gap right here you can mount the screw okay so i'm just going to put this piece back and next we're going to move to the most complicated part and most people they fail um it is transmission okay um uh, for transmission this is all the parts we need to the transmission so we need a, a 72 millimeter reinforced shaft and 1.4 millimeter uh, the hollow propeller shaft and the gear which is right here transmission gear crown gear which is right here and we need two penny gear um, also this package already have two so you can use that too as well and the 620 ball bearing which is right here 
okay and the roller spacer and uh, we need to make a, a chassis lace like this well, I'm gonna expand that later okay for this chassis lace I'm gonna expand later uh, next you need um, a some model spacer okay um, a lot of people ask me what is this one this is actually the model spacer it is come from mm -hmm. the um, the model actually when you open the model right on the top of armature they have one okay so that's where the piece come from so let me give you a sample the model spacer basically located either on the bottom of the armature or either on the top tips right here so it really depends so uh, you need a couple of this okay and a one uh, 1.5 millimeter um, these uh, aluminum spacer and I think that's it okay so next let me go ahead and move to the uh, modification first I gonna trim the gear first for trim gear you just put uh, the gear on the uh, chassis like this using the 4.0 gear ratio and a plus a I gonna using like that if you want to using a faster model you can go ahead and use it okay then you're gonna put a axle and uh, this is the shaft stopper okay for one end and next you're gonna put a a roller spacer face to inside and this is the gear I'm gonna train first it's a crown gear okay so we're gonna put a gear right here and you're gonna using some of those um, thing like this this is the uh, some type of spacer but uh, uh, it's like the copper one okay so go ahead put it down and the next gonna using another stopper to lock the other end so in this case the gear can stay on the shaft okay next you're gonna using a files and plus number 1000 sandpaper which is right here so first I'm gonna starting to trim the gear right here so let me mark it you can see um, which the location I'm gonna trim okay as you can see I mark it right here this white spot is the piece I'm gonna trim off because um, this piece right here it is too sharp so that's why I have to trim off in this case I can have a little bit offset um, angle right here so it's preventing in the edge of crown gear which I decided to contact with the um, this part of the uh, chest right here okay so first I'm gonna using a files to trim the most of it Okay, you can see it's it's trim off a little bit. So next, I'm gonna using number one thousand paper to um, find the surface. Okay. Okay, just finish it and let's take a look at it. This one versus the. So, as you can see, this edge right here is being trimmed off a little bit. That's what you need to do. Just trim off a little bit, and in this case, you can bypass the, uh, the edge right here. Okay, so anyway, um, I'm gonna go ahead and trim the other one okay next I'm gonna to trim these two little painting gear right here I'm gonna using a moto shaft to mount my painting gear on the one end of that okay 
using a plastic cutter to remove all the teeth first. Okay, next gonna put my the whole thing on top of the Dremel and I'm gonna using the files to trim off let me give you a better angle can you see it to trim off this round surface right here and for here this point right here I'm pointing out right now try to not damage it you can try to trim off but not damage the this end of the surface okay just go ahead let me go ahead turn it on Okay, so try to make the body which is right here between, let me get a better angle. Try to make the body from here and to here a little bit skinny. And I mean a little bit slim. And here you can keep a little bit bigger, it's okay. But make sure do not damage this side of the, um, the top, okay. So next, just gonna using a, a penny gear puller to gently remove this tube off from the motor shaft make sure you're using a pinion gear puller because you don't want damage um, again you don't want damage this side of the uh, surface okay so let me okay like this so I'm gonna go ahead and make another one okay okay now here we have a, um, almost everything two trim crown gear and the train pinny gear and tire okay next we're gonna do a shaft examination uh, again I've been noticed to a lot of people most of brand new time your shaft is not 100% straight so you have to um, um, to exa uh, examine it and before you um, put that on the chassis um, I have this um, shaft tester from Japan so with this shaft tester, it's easy for me to test on the shaft like this one. I test earlier, see that? It's really straight, that one can pass. If like this one brand new, just open from the new box, see that? It didn't pass. Which means this shaft's not straight, okay? So let's go ahead, try to find another one. Okay, this one's straight, I have two. Okay, this one's straight too. Okay, so we have two shafts right here out of the front box that fail. You know, uh, we're lucky today we have another two which is passed the test. Um, uh, normally, for the brand new package from Tamiya um, um, shaft, um, those reinforced shafts is about like a 30%. Um, it is 100% straight. Another 70%, most of them is defective, it's like this. It is just crooked. Okay, see, won't pass. Okay, uh, looks like we have everything here. Okay, next I'm gonna do a assembly uh, for the transmission system. So before I do the transmission system uh, assembly, we have to do a little bit modification on chassis. Okay, first thing we're gonna do it is we gonna a uh, cut open part of the chassis, which is right here. Let me give it a better angle, you can see it. So here. And here. Okay, in the front, we're gonna trim off a little bit right here. Okay, a little bit right here. Okay. So we're gonna using the four millimeter uh, ground bit right here. We're gonna put on the a little bit lower RPM, and I'm going to 
make this a little bit bigger by using a grinder okay like this Okay, next we're gonna trim off a little bit right here. Okay, next we're gonna move to the front. Here we're gonna trim off a little bit. And the same thing here. Okay, next we're gonna using the polish bit which is this one right here to polish the surface a little bit and this one gonna put a little bit higher RPM Okay, and then we're gonna move to the next step, and we're gonna using the laser. Uh, uh, we're gonna using the knife to scratch off the extra scrap. Like this, okay. then we're gonna using a files to fix a little bit right here same here Next week, just going to either uh, clean using the blower or either using the uh, vacuum. 